Hey everyone, this is Hinterland Customs, and this is a new project I'll be working on down the road. Um, I found this kit at a, it's like a collector's store, if you will, like, uh, I don't know, you can call it a thrift store, but it's like a store that I've talked about on my channel before. They've got old toys, collectibles, um, you know, they've got 55-gallon drums full of old Star Wars action figures, and... Tonka trucks, vinyl records, um, old sports pennants, a little bit of everything. It's almost like some sort of eBay store, if you will. But it's brick and mortar, and it's in this little town uh, down just down the road from me ways. Um, anyway, once in a while, I go in there and I find a kit, and this one uh, was a treasure trove for sure. Uh, this kit's pretty highly sought after, apparently, because they haven't made it much. So it's, uh, I don't know, on eBay, I looked it up, and it's definitely going for a lot more money than I paid for it. I think I paid eight dollars for it um, and I'm, I'm going to build it I'm not going to sell it um, I am going to build it uh, and I kept going back to some uh, a show called The Walking Dead which in season four there was a scene where uh, Merle Dixon who's played by the actor Michael Rucker uh, he hot wires this car at this motel he's been walking down the roadways and he gets down there and he he's got uh, he hot wires this car and of course it's been sitting there in the show it's probably been apocalypse like two years so it's been sitting in this parking lot a couple of years it's it's kind of dirtied up it's it's got leaves there's leaves all around caked on everything the wind's blown trash around because you know it's the the world's that they knew ended and uh, nobody's going around cleaning stuff up anymore so anyway is uh, the car that he had that he hot wired was a 1990 Chevy Caprice classic and it had um but it had some custom stuff it had some custom rims on it, it had some like 22 inch spinners with low profile tires so um and then he used in the scene he just he listens to uh there's Motorhead which is apparently in the CD player what have you and so he plays Motorhead and he's, as he's driving down the road. And he's, what he's doing is he's attracting um, walkers, which in the show they're not called zombies. They're called walkers. So anyway, he's attracting these walkers to follow him. And he's leading them to this uh, area, this staging area. It's an abandoned uh, grain mill, it looks like to me. And uh, anyway, there's, there's a guy there that he wants to take out. There's a group of, of bad people there that are planning an attack on his people. And so um, anyway, he uses the car to... to bring in a bunch of uh, walkers into that area so it'll cause a lot of disruption and distract um, the guys on the other side that he's trying to take out. Anyway, uh, I kept thinking about that scene when I, I had this kit and I was looking at trying, I was going to build a clean car and then I, I thought, why don't I just use the 87 Monte Carlo in place of it? Um, found the rims uh, working with uh, Andreas Dominguez at Leonel Hobbies. Uh, he's going to get me hooked up with some rims that are just like the ones uh, in the photos. And uh, as you've seen, I, I showed some photos uh, at the beginning um, of the video here, or I could put them at the end either way, but of the scene. But anyway, I was priming some parts, and so I went ahead and got some stuff primed. Uh, another thing I'm going to do, it's really an good good looking car there um i've got some custom stuff to put in so i've got some dice here and then i from detail master i'm really excited about using this um doesn't take much to that's a cassette tape so i'm going to have a cassette tape uh i think i saw dave uh at mini dreams he had one of these and i saw it like last year i'm like oh dude where'd you get the cassette tape and and so i'm going to have that on the dash of the car and then in like the back window, I'm going to have one of these. This is a, uh, just, these are fine transfers by Archer. Uh, these are Vietnam era, so they're a little older, a little dated, but, uh, you know, you can always have an older girly mag in a car like that. Uh, you got Stag, um, what is it, Playboy, a bunch of different magazine covers and, and the front and back. So I can make a, make a magazine, throw it in the back window there. Anyway, that is the kit and that's the project so diorama wise i'm not sure what i can really do here um to i'm not sure i thought about creating the front of the the motel but looking at the debris around i think i'll just kind of create the parking lot and uh, or i'd rather even just maybe put it in a grass field which is where you know when he took it to the grain mill he just let it roll he jumped out of the car let it 
drive until it stopped, you know, it's got stuck or whatever, hit something. And the music continued to play. So, um, anyway, that's it. Yeah, just uh, a fun little project. So, yeah, I might do a vignette with it. Um, I have looked for figures for this, um, both. I look for Merle Dixon, and unfortunately, Merle Dixon, I cannot find, is in the right scale for this. Uh, a 125 scale figure is, I believe it's one and three quarters inches, 1.75 inches high. Um, all the ones I find are either um, like 2.25 or they're, or they're, actually it was maybe it was two. Like, anyway, seven inches, you know, one six scale. They, I can't find any that are the right size. I look for some zombies, and um, unfortunately, like or fortunately, that there's some zombies out there that are in the right scale, but they're they're very well detailed, which is great. However, that that does cost you a lot more uh, when you're purchasing them. Um, there's some out there I saw that were, you know, twenty dollars for a figure, and um, you know, you get what you pay for. You know, they're very finely detailed, but I'm really not looking and investing that much into it. So I. I thought, you know, maybe I'll just do the car and just call it good and just do a vignette with it with, with and try to show some of the trash thrown around and stuff. Um, yeah, just a little ode to a, to a scene from a show that I liked. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll have more updates uh, coming soon with uh, some of my other projects that I'm in the middle of and a couple that I'm getting closer to completion on. So you guys take care out there. Hannah Nine Customs signing out.